Hey everyone, hope you're excited to be here. Today we're going to go over version 2.0 of the autopilot, everything it can do, how to get it, how to install it, and uh, all that good stuff. So let's get started. To start with, you can use multiple monitors, having different tabs on each monitor if you choose, or you can just use the HUD and you can access all of the information from, from the HUD if you don't want to use any screens. We have our navigation tab. This is what's going to show the galaxy and all of the planets. Information about all of the planets. It'll show all of our waypoints on the planets for points that we have saved. You can also go to any of the moons or you can click on the planets from the galaxy map here. You can see all of your points in the list view, which I just have the one at the moment. We have our autopilot tab. This is what's going to tell you what the autopilot is currently doing and various other th settings for the autopilot. Um, we have the bank angle so it knows how steep your ship can bank safely. So for small maneuverable ships like this one, I can just increase that. I know this can do about 60 easily with the autopilot. Stall angle, this is based on what your main source of lift is. So with wings, I'm going to put this one at about 40 degrees. If your only source of lift is ailerons, I would have it down at about 25 degrees. Ailerons stall about 30, but you want to have a little leeway. Um, if you use just stabilizers, you could have it a little bit higher. But if you're a heavier ship using stabilizers, you might want it a little bit lower just to um, give yourself some breathing room. But you can play with these settings to see how it works with your ship. And then your match max pitch angle, how steep you want to pitch up. Um, that depends on how powerful your ship is for climbing and how much weight you're carrying. So you can modify that um, for your particular load or ship design. Your max speed, this is how fast you want to travel when you're in space. And you can either type things in here, by the way, or when this is open, you can just go into Lua and type out what you want and it will appear in there and just confirm. So we want our max speed at 29 or 30,000. Um, if you were just traveling between like here and the moon and back, you might want to set that to 10,000 or so so you're not just burning fuel, trying to accelerate to max speed and then slamming on the brakes. And so this is basically all the information in the autopilot tab. We have our route editor. I'll get into that into just a second. And we also have our settings tab where we configure some settings of the autopilot. We can set up our fuel tank talents, which will make our fuel tank gauge accurate, and some custom settings specific to our ship, and some default settings. All of these have descriptions, and you are going to tweak these specifically for each ship um, as needed. HUD settings, you can change the look of your HUD if you choose. Debug mode, that's more for me, but some of you can look at that if you choose. And so that's the basic settings. So now the route editor. Obviously, in the older version of the autopilot, adding points was a little bit of a chore, and that is not the case anymore. All you're going to do, say new route. You're probably going to be hovering above the ground, so we're going to lift off. I'm going to go to First, I'm going to go up here and rename the route. This is the spaceport. So we just type that in. So now we've labeled this location. The route name is what we're going to see when we're looking at our routes or if we're looking at the planet view. So this is the only name that matters. You can add your current location. Then we're going to click this point and we're going to set the settings for it. The landing distance because this is a very small ship, I'm going to set it down to 50. Larger ships, you're going to want this to be a little bit larger. Remember, it's trying to get the core of your ship to the location. So if the core is in the back of your ship, you want this to be a little bit larger number so the nose isn't hitting um, the ground before the core gets to this location, if that makes sense. So larger ships, this will be a larger number. If it's a small, extra small core, you could have this down to 10 or even 20. 
cruise speed, the maximum cruise speed in the atmosphere that this plant that this point is on. So this is Alioth. This is gonna be my Alioth cruise speed. So I want that at a thousand. Um, the ship can actually go a bit faster, but I'll still leave it at a thousand. And the cruise altitude. Um, I'm gonna cruise at 3,500. So these are the settings for the for basically this planet or this point um, that you want set. Once that's done, that point is done. And it's now up here in our route, IC Spaceport. Another option is we can just go into our map. And let's say we want to go to Market 8. District 8, Market. Set as destination. Copy the pause data. Add a new route. Alioth Market 8. Confirm. Add a point from Lua chat tab. And it didn't copy the point for some reason, so let's make sure we copy it. Maybe I clicked the wrong button. Now that waypoint is added. Now because we selected the market, we know that our point is in the center of the market. So I'm going to say, let's stop when we're within 500 meters of the point, because we don't want to crash into the market, obviously. These settings, I'm going to leave the 1,000 cruise speed, and I'm going to cruise at 3,500. So now I've just added market 8. So I don't have to be there. Someone can either send you pause data, and you can add a point, or you can just click anywhere on the map, grab position, and fly there without going there first. So now that we have that point, alias market 8. Engage autopilot. And we're going to start heading there. So let's turn on our HUD so you can see. Now, with the HUD, we have an extra option that's not available on the screens. And that's if we close all the tabs. We have this little preview of everything that's going on over here in the corner. Interacting with the HUD, um, because we can't use the mouse um, like you would like, you have to hold Shift to bring up the mouse. And then while you're holding shift, tapping alt is basically your mouse click because you can't actually use a mouse click um, in a HUD. So that's how you interact um, with it. And when you're done with it, you just let go of shift and the mouse will disappear and you're back to um, your normal controls. Okay, so it brought us within 500 meters of the market and went ahead and landed us over here. Now also in the autopilot settings is visualize waypoints and that's just going to set your, your waypoint to your target as you select targets. So if I select the spaceport, it's just moved my waypoint to the spaceport. Or if I select Albatross, you know, it just changes my waypoint. So that's what that does. Okay, so I'm flying away from the market here. And when you turn on the autopilot, before it would kind of have a hard time turning. I mean, it, it would get you there, obviously, in the previous version. But it didn't use the ship's capability um, quite as well. So the autopilot is on now. It's going to actually bank the ship, as well as making sure it's not stalling, um, within those parameters that you set, basically, to the, your ship's performance. So it's going to be able to turn much better in atmosphere and fly much smoother. You know, there'll be a little bouncing around as it's making sure that your wings aren't stalling or anything. Um, you know, it is still an autopilot, so it, it's going to snap between um, whatever targets it needs to to keep your ship in the air. Um, but it does fly significantly better, significantly safer than the previous version. 
and it just flies back to the target just as it did before. Now the reentry procedure has gone through a major overhaul. Um, it can re-enter with a wide variety of ships much, much better than before. I mean, before was pretty decent, um, but it's just significantly safer now. So in addition to being able to add points easily um, with the new systems, you can share points. You have a, your main data bank, and then you have a backup data bank, or multiples. Your main data bank is just a normal data bank, and your backup, you just rename to USB and anything, so you know, just has to be named USB, and then you know, one, or you can have your own USB. So it's my USB. You can have multiples of them, and you can back up all of your points to those data banks, and you can give them to someone, and then they just link it to their chair, and then they just import the routes, and they can import the routes from the data bank. Um, so let me export those new ones that I made. So export them. So now those are in the backup data bank. So now if I was to hook it up to another ship, right, I can import them and all those are there and boom, done. So you can share points nice and easily. All right, so installation. Those of you with the previous version know installation sometimes was a little bit of a challenge. And that's changed quite a bit. So for installation, all you have to do First, link everything that you want to your chair. So databanks, screens, warp drive, radar, and that's pretty much it. Um, don't link any fuel tanks. Then paste the little configuration from clipboard. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to all of your brakes, so space brakes and atmospheric brakes. Go to advanced, set engine tags, and set anti-inertia, so both on that and your atmospheric brakes. And then just get in the chair. It's going to auto-detect everything and make sure everything's working for you, no problem. It'll give you a little tutorial of how to use the HUD. Okay. Then you're just going to go through and do your settings. Set up your screens if you're using screens, however you'd like them. Now we got rid of our points um, that we had previously, but we have them in our backup data bank. So we're just going to import them. Now we have all of our points back. Done. And that is the installation. So that about covers it. If you have any questions, um, you can leave them in the comments below. You can hop into the Discord, which I'll leave a link in the description below. If you have the previous version and you have any comments about the autopilot, um, go ahead and leave them here, or you can join the Discord, and you can talk to some of the members that have the autopilot. If you have any questions about how it works with certain ships and whatnot, um, you can post any bug reports you have. Obviously, this is a new version. There may be some bugs um, here and there. It should be pretty stable. Definitely start with maybe your smaller, less expensive ships and work up to your larger haulers um, as you learn how to use the autopilot and, your, and you know its capabilities and everything you're comfortable with. All right. Thanks for stopping by, everyone, and look forward to talking to you guys soon.